but why are people using it for health conditions? What's the 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 scientific thought process behind it? By kind of anecdotal comments, like you'll see anecdotal comments on YouTube, you get anecdotal comments. So in the ketogenic space, right? Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am naturopath Fiona Chin, co-founder of Kidney Coach, the Kidney Disease Solution and the Kidney Mastery Program and our supplement Sky Genesis. And I'm joined again today by the amazing Jessiana Seville. Yes. So first off, Jess, why don't you give us an overview of what is the carnivore diet? What, what does that actually mean? Okay, so it's very simple. It is what it says. Well, it's always nice. <laughs> it's not a weird yeah. name. It is an all meat diet. That's it. Fruits, vegetables, no nuts, no grains, no Christmas cookies. Like, <laughs> so, um, that, that's all that it is, is a strictly meat diet, bacon, chicken, turkey, beef, steak, sausage, meat. And they, from when I looked at it, they also, they're quite big on using pasture fed meats and good quality yes. meat. Yeah. Good, good quality meat. Yeah. It's really, really an important part of that, which makes a lot of yeah. sense. So now we know what the carnivore diet is. What is the theory behind it of why it would be useful maybe in kidney disease, but why are people using it for health conditions? What's the, the, the scientific thought process behind it? So there's a, a couple of things to think about, and I'm going to take this out of kidney disease and we'll come back to kidney disease because yeah. we see it come up in the kidney world by kind of anecdotal comments like you'll see anecdotal comments on youtube you get anecdotal comments facebook group so there's really anecdotal comments and it's you can't draw a lot of conclusions from that because people are giving a snapshot in time their mm -hmm. thoughts or their experience with it but it is not it doesn't tell their whole story so it doesn't sound like yeah it doesn't tell everything <laughs> and so you have to be real careful at making conclusions from anecdotal comments that you see on online forums, YouTube, whatever. Okay. So we'll talk about kidney disease in a second, but if you take it back, right in the ketogenic space and carnivore to me is kind of this subset of the ketogenic space. And it yeah. has a lot, a lot of uh, discussion within the, the ketogenic metabolic health world. So in the ketogenic space, right. People will often start by a ketogenic diet, and they're usually addressing a health concern, whether that has not been solved with conventional medicine, they've been frustrated because they haven't gotten results, you know, autoimmune conditions, a lot of people use ketogenic diets for autoimmune cancer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So all the things that ketosis is being used for, people will start that and then, you know, start getting some good results. And then they'll say, oh, I they'll either have a problem with a ketogenic diet, but they don't want to eat carbs again. And so they'll go down to another subset, which is just meat. And they've heard, oh, like meat is, is so good because when you do an all meat diet, you take out all the plant, um, the plant chemicals that can be problems like oxalates. You take out all the mold, which, you know, we'll talk about in a second. You take out, you know, all these things that might be problematic with eating any plants and you're just eating meat. On top of that, meat to its credit is very nutrient dense. Sometimes we think of it as, you know, not nutrient dense because it has fiber. Mm -hmm. Really, if you look at it like on a straight nutritional scale, it's got so many minerals in it. Like it's really actually quite nutrient dense. It's just it's really the organ meat as well, right? Yes. Yeah. It's got these like amazing fats in it if it's grass fed and, you know, kind of natural or organic on that, on that realm, where the animals are eating what they're supposed to eat, not just corn and grain. Like it, it really can be an incredible nutrient source. So the theory is right. If you take out all these potential harmful things and you're just eating meat, it's super nutrient dense. You know, there are, uh, uh, populations that have only eaten meat, like the Inuit, and they, mm -hmm. have, they don't even have problems with diabetes. They don't have any, any health issues that we typically see. And so this must be the best way to eat for humans. And why are we eating carbohydrates at all? Yeah. Or anything that is not 
if that is not not meat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's exactly right. And I also want to come back to just the the internal organs. So people are, it is sort of said in the uh, carnival diet to eat the organ meat as well, right? Because that, yeah. you have so much nutrition in like coenzyme Q10 and nutrients that you don't get anywhere else but in things like organ meat and things like that. So yeah. that's the other the other part of it and that you're you're 100 right it's very very nutrient dense we've gone we've moved away from eating nose to tail like they would have in the old school days we don't eat lungs and and hearts and all of those sort of things that you know we we would have done in a paleolithic type type yeah, era so yeah absolutely yeah if you want to know more about what we do head to www.kidneycoach.com you'll find us on facebook and instagram same thing, forward slash kidney coach. All our resources are there. We've got some free downloadables. And, of course, you'll find all our supplements and programs in the shop. Jess, thanks again for your wisdom and sharing your uh, amazing brain with us on all things kidney. Uh, 